Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to walk you through a basic tutorial of using your Amazon Echo. Now the first thing that you want to do when you get your Echo is you want to take it out of the box and plug it in. Then we're going to want to connect it to Wi-Fi. But in order to do that we need to download the Alexa app from the App Store. So on either your iPhone or your Android device you're going to access the App Store or the Google Play Store. And as you can see I've already downloaded the app, it's on the very bottom right of my phone. So if I tap to open the app, we need to connect Alexa to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to tap on the menu at the top left, then I'm going to scroll down a bit, and I'm going to tap on settings. And from here, mine says Anson's Echo, but yours probably says Amazon Echo. We're going to tap on that, and then we're going to tap on update Wi-Fi. Now a set of instructions will appear on your mobile device that will tell you how you can connect your Echo to Wi-Fi. So go ahead and follow those and get your Amazon Echo connected to Wi-Fi. Once you have it connected to Wi-Fi, there are a number of different commands that you can give it, so I'm going to show you some of the basic ones. First of all, we can ask it basic questions, like, who is Benjamin Franklin? But we need to first use the wake word. The default wake word for the Amazon Echo is Alexa. So as you can see when I say that word, it activates and we could then ask it a question. Alexa, who is Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States. We can also ask the Echo to search Wikipedia for terms. And the cool thing about it is, is when the Echo searches for a term on Wikipedia, it then pulls the Wikipedia page up in the Amazon Echo app on your phone. So let's take a look. Alexa, Wikipedia cat. The domestic cat is a small, usually furry, domesticated, and carnivorous mammal. They are often called house cats when kept as indoor pets or simply cats when there is no need to distinguish them from other felids and felines. For the full Wikipedia article, check out the Alexa app. So as you can see, this is my phone, and look what we have on it. We have the Wikipedia page for cat. We could tap on the link that says learn more on Wikipedia to read the full article. We can also add things to our shopping list verbally, and the shopping list then appears on our phone so we can take it to the supermarket. Alexa, add eggs to my shopping list. I've added eggs to your shopping list. We can use the Echo to set alarms, so that's great for when you're cooking in the kitchen and you don't want to have to use your hands, maybe they're dirty or have some food on them, you can use the Amazon Echo. Alexa, set an alarm for two seconds. Two seconds? Starting now. Alexa, stop. Now it also works for setting alarms in the morning, so you can tell it to set an alarm for 8 a.m. and things like that. We can also listen to the news on Alexa, and within the Alexa app, there is a settings page where you can specify which news apps you'd like to be set up in your Amazon Echo. So if we scroll down, You'll notice that there's a section that says settings, and when we tap on that, there's another section that says flash briefing, and that's where we can select which news devices we'd like to use for the Amazon Echo. But to listen to those news devices, all we have to do is say, Alexa, tell me the news. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Windsor Johnston. Alexa, stop. So I'll let you listen to the news on your own time, but it's a very cool feature. We can also have Alexa play music, and that is probably one of the coolest features. It uses the uh, Amazon Prime Music Library, but for some reason you don't need, seem to need to have an Amazon Prime subscription to listen to the music on the Amazon Echo. You can also connect it to your phone via Bluetooth. I have a video for that here on YouTube. Check out the description of this video for details on how to connect the Amazon Echo to your Bluetooth device. But let's take a look at the Amazon Prime Music Library. Alexa, play some rock music. A Prime playlist for rock. Classic rock dinner party. Alexa, stop. 
So there you have it. Those are a number of different things that you can do with your Amazon Echo. Remember, the first thing that you want to do is take it out of the box, plug it in, download the Alexa app from the App Store or Google Play Store, get your Amazon Echo connected to Wi-Fi, and then you can start playing around with different commands. It's a great device. I really recommend it. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.